Environmentalists oppose it, and so does the state of California. But CBS 5 has learned the federal government is about to lift a ban on massive fishing lines off the West Coast. With a Green Beat exclusive, Jeffrey Schaub explains why and shows us rare footage of the unintended catch. You are looking at never-before-seen video of an endangered species, a leatherback turtle swimming off the San Mateo coastline, remote cameras strapped to its back, devouring its favorite food, jellyfish. They're a really remarkable animal, a very special animal that we really don't know very much about. What is known is this. Each year, hundreds of these turtles migrate halfway around the world, swimming thousands of miles across the Pacific from their nesting grounds in Indonesia to the Bay Area to feed on a massive colony of the jellyfish. Yet the leatherback is in trouble. Many die each year at the hands of fishermen, and this may soon worsen right off California's shoreline. And this is what's hurting the turtles. Steel fish hooks like this one that are put on the end of long lines off the back of fishing boats looking for swordfish. They get caught in the fins of the turtles and they can drown. Here's proof. Fishermen trying to catch swordfish in the Pacific, but hauling up sea turtles and other marine life that got caught in their hooks. Here, they're trying to untangle the turtles before they die, but often the fishermen are too late. That's why longline fishing was banned off the West Coast more than a decade ago. But now, and despite opposition from California's legislature and environmental groups, the National Marine Fishery Service is getting ready to allow longline fishing between 50 and 200 miles off our coast. At a time when they should be trying to protect these sea turtles and save every single leatherback that remains, they're putting more hooks into the ocean and increasing threats to this species. The longliner fishing boats are called that because their lines and hooks can reach out 40, 50, even 60 miles, which means one single boat could stretch its lines out from San Francisco to Santa Cruz. Uncle Sam is under pressure from the fishing industry to open up western waters because swordfish are so plentiful here and the fish can fetch up to $20, $30 a pound. The fishery service tells CBS5 longliners off the California coast will use new, safer hooks and different bait designed to protect the turtles. We want to have healthy fisheries that don't interact with endangered species. Quickly, we want to thank marine scientists Jim Harvey, Scott Benson, and Bill Watson providing the incredible sea turtle footage. Now, again, this is the hook that we're talking about. It's the one that they use on the long liners. The federal government is talking about proposing a different kind of a hook, more of a O-shaped hook that wouldn't be as invasive, but the people who are supporting the turtles say it's not going to make that much of a difference, and it's not worth the gamble. Now, these fishermen... Are they, we're not talking about local fishermen going out there and doing this, right? No, in fact, these boats would come out of Ventura. They might come out of Hawaii. Uh, there are a couple of boats that would be allowed in uh, initially and then perhaps many more later on. Wow. Yeah. Right. There is no long line fishing out of the Bay Area or Northern California. Hmm. Right Interesting. Now. Okay. Thank you, Jeff. All right.